Hello everybody, I am Sean. And I'm Amber. And we are the couple that grills together. And tomorrow, we're gonna have a buttermilk fried chicken that we've cut into two halves. But first, tonight, overnight, we gotta brine it. So what are we doing here, Amber? Okay, so Sean and I do not drink buttermilk at all so i like keeping this um on stock so that when we have a recipe that calls for buttermilk i can just make up exactly what i need and i don't have to worry about my milk expiring for a really long time uh, that just stays in the refrigerator and it's usually good for a couple of years um, in the fridge so that's what we're using to make the buttermilk i made three cups of buttermilk and we're going to take these chicken halves, put them into a food safe container with a lid, and uh, we're gonna pour the buttermilk over it and let it hang out in the fridge overnight. Yes. So that was just about a perfect amount um, of buttermilk. We can, you know, shake it up every so often to make sure that all the pieces are um, covered. And then tonight, before we go to bed, we'll alternate the pieces, and uh, then we'll see y'all here again tomorrow. Yes, we will. All right. All right, so we've let our chicken brine overnight. Now we're going to get it out, put it on the pan. We're going to put some Gorilla Grills all-purpose rub on there. And then we're going to put it on the Chimp. The Chimp is set to 275 on Pro Mode. And we're going to do that to what temperature, Amber? Between 160 and 165. Between 160 and 165. All right, let's get this chicken going. Okay, so we're going to season this uh, liberally with this AP rub. This is a nice rub. We really like it. It has a nice blend of uh, savory and sweet. So I think it'll be perfect for this chicken. All right, Sean, I think, that, I think that looks good. Yeah, all right. So now, again, we're gonna put it on our chimp at 275 until it gets to about 160, 165. And then it'll be time to take a bite. All right, let's get going. So we've got them on there, and now we're just gonna let the chimp do his work. Okay, so we've got the chicken pulled off of the smoker. We smoked it to an internal temp of? Uh, 164. Okay, so it looks terrific. Again, 164, we did it on the Gorilla Grill Chimp on 275 on the Pro Mode. And it definitely looks juicy. Let's I see say, how tender it is. I say we uh, check it out. Oh, that looks good. Nice and juicy.
Hmm. En evet, güzel. That is really good. Now let's have some of the skin. That's good. I don't know why I'm a bit shy here. That's juicy. I tell you, brining in the buttermilk overnight. Mm. It's got flavor throughout the meat. It does. Um, I know. And uh, I was gonna say right, right there, with all the juice coming out of there. It has a, I don't know, kind of a, a buttery kind of flavor to the meat, which I guess would come from the the, uh, the buttermilk. But it's good. Very good. Very good. Very juicy. Yes, I mean, juice is just pouring out of it. I, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I mean, it's definitely juicy. You know, just gotta try some of the breast. <laughs> yep, gotta try some of that. Oh, breast that and good. the thigh are my favorite pieces of meat on a chicken. Sean likes the legs. That's his. I love the dark meat. His favorite part. Mmm. Man. That is so good. That is, that breast is not dried out at all. No, and it's got flavor throughout. That's the one thing I don't like for, uh, I don't like bone-in chicken breasts because to me, once you get past the most outer part of the breast, there's really not any flavor to it. That has got a lot of flavor. It does. That is very good. I'm gonna try one more bite. All right. Why don't I give you a little bite? Uh, oh, that is really good. You know what I think, Amber? No, but I bet you're gonna tell me. Man, that is some smacking good chicken right there. Man, you did a good job. We did a good job. Mm, the rub is good on the skin. Yep. Turned out great, but that meat is very juicy. Very simple brine and the buttermilk. We've never done that before. We, ne yeah, we'll we, do it again for sure. Exactly. I mean, that turned out great. Mm. And cooking it at 275 on pro mode on the chimp to internal temperature uh, 164, which is, that's just when I took it off. And, uh, I mean that turned out that turned out great so I think it's time to slice some of this up put it on a plate and have some dinner because everything's, everything's better, better together, together. Mm -hmm. it is